Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people and welcome to Recharging. It is time for another range test and this time I am sitting in the X-Bank P7. The performance version of the X-Bank P7 to be precise. So what do you get when you have a X-Bank P7? Well, you get a sedan that sits nicely in terms of size between the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model S. But with the performance version you also get all-wheel drive, 0 to 100 in around 4 seconds and more important for this video, a WLTP range of 505 kilometers. But there's also a long-range version of the X-Pang P7. That one only has rear-wheel drive and a WLTP range of 576 kilometers. Yeah, that is a lot. But again, I am currently sitting in the performance version, so 505 kilometers of WLTP range that is the goal but I will not reach that goal today because at the moment it is around zero degrees Celsius so 505 kilometers of WLTP range I can forget it but let's see what the car can do right all right so the car is charged to 78 percent so I am ready to go you know the drill I will do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 kilometers per hour. A good thing to know is that I did the 130 kilometers per hour test on a different day than today. So the conditions were also different. So if you want to know the conditions of, well, that day, then I will tell you that at the beginning of that part of the video. As I have already said, the car is charged to 78%. So let's go. As usual, time for the first update when the car has used 10% state of charge. So, the car has used 10% state of charge and on that 10% I have done 46 kilometers. So it seems like right now the range is 460 kilometers. And that is pretty good. I mean, if that is the end result, then yes, I do expect this car can do its WLTP range in summer. Very nice, very nice. What is not so nice is the adaptive cruise control in this car because even on the shortest distance, the distance to the car in front of me is huge. And therefore, if someone goes in front of me, the car will slow down again. So it is difficult to maintain uh, one speed. Um, so sometimes, yes, I have to drive a little bit slower. Sometimes I drive a little bit faster. I have to drive a lot manually. Luckily right now, the roads are getting quieter and quieter, but it is still relatively early, so it is um, a quarter to eight. Do you say that in English? I think so. Quarter to eight. So it's still relatively early, so the roads are still relatively busy, which doesn't help with maintaining one speed. But anyway, I will keep on going and the next update will be sometime, yeah. Alrighty, it is actually pretty quiet. It's quiet in the car, it's now quiet on the roads, it's quiet during the test. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. But the car has used 33% state of charge and on the 33% I have done 147 kilometers. So the range it seems like right now is around 450 kilometers, which again is pretty good. It's pretty good. I think with that amount of range in this temperature, you can probably still get 505 kilometers in summer. What else is there to say? Again, not much to be honest, not much. I will get back to you with the final result in, I don't know, less than five seconds if you watch this. So I am done with my test and this time the result is actually very easy. So I don't need my phone to calculate it because I started my test with 77% state of charge and I stopped my test with 27%. So that means I've used 50%. And on that 50% I have done exactly 220 kilometers so that means the range of the X-Bank P7 performance in these conditions is 440 kilometers what are these conditions again well it is around zero degrees Celsius and during the end of my test I actually got some rain and snow so the conditions were not the best the WLTP range of this car is 505 kilometers and do I expect that you can get that in summer? I think so, but it's going to be difficult I think. You will get close for 9500, maybe then 505 as well. 
But again, I think it's going to be difficult, but you will get close. So is that a good result? I don't know, to be honest, I don't know. That also means that my assumption is that with the long range version that has a WLTP range of 576 kilometers, you can probably also not do that in summer. And that is then probably 540, 550. But I'm not sure because I have not driven it, but that is my expectation. So yeah, that was the 90 kilometers per hour test. Now let's go to the 130 kilometers per hour test. I am currently doing my 130 kilometers per hour test. And a good thing to know is that I am doing this test on a different day than I did the 90 kilometers per hour test. So a different day also means different conditions. So what are the conditions at the moment? Well, it has been raining, so that means the roads are still wet. They are getting drier, but again, they are still wet. And there is quite a strong wind from the west. So I have to admit the conditions are not optimal. Even though the temperature for this time of the year, 10 degrees Celsius, is not that bad. But again, there is quite a strong wind from the west. But it is what we have to deal with. I mean, this is a real world test. You can have good weather, you can have bad weather. So yeah, that's the name of the game. I have done 11 kilometers, so not a whole lot. So I will just keep on cruising, doing 130 kilometers per hour. It is actually a really comfortable car to do that speed in though. Feels really stable at these speeds. And also it is a quiet car. So yeah, I have nothing to complain in this driving seat. Nothing to complain. Oh wait, I do have two things to complain though. First, the autonomous driving system does not want to activate above 130 kilometers per hour on the speedo. Luckily for me, 130 kilometers per hour on the speedo is pretty accurate with the GPS speed. But still, what is that? Why would it not activate above it? I do not understand why car makers do that. And two, I do have the X-Pilot on, the autonomous driving system, but for some reason, I don't know if it is the speed or the conditions, but the auto steering doesn't work. Damn it. Alrighty, still going strong, doing 130 kilometers an hour. Sometimes some rain, wet roads, strong winds, but the X-Pang machine is going strong. Yeah. The car has used 25% state of charge and on that 25% I have done around 73 kilometers. So the range while doing 130 kilometers per hour in these terrible conditions seems like right now is around 300 kilometers. Not bad, not bad at all. I will keep on driving and well you will get the result at the charger. All right, I arrived at the charger, so it is time for the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 75% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 25%. So that means I've used 50%. On that 50%, I have done 147.1 kilometers. So you can do while driving 130 kilometers per hour in these terrible conditions with the x P7 performance, 294.2 kilometers and that is not a bad result because as i've said terrible conditions i think the conditions that i drove in are one of the worst conditions you can get in western europe i mean a very hard wind rain so that means wet roads yeah the conditions were really terrible today and therefore i think in a better spring condition or well better spring weather or summer weather you can get with this car and this is the performance version around 335 to 340 kilometers of range while driving 130 kilometers per hour because i have seen this car being efficient and keep in mind those numbers that i said for spring and summer is the performance version with the long range version, you can probably get 25 to 30 kilometers more while driving 130 kilometers per hour. So yes, the x P7 is a efficient car. How efficient you might ask? Well, I have literally no idea because I do this test when I have this car literally for half a day and somehow I cannot find 
how I can reset the trip meter of the consumption. The trip meter for distance is fine. You just get out of the car, you lock it, you get in and it is reset. But resetting the consumption trip, I have no idea. I cannot find it. I will do the 90 kilometers per hour test later in a few days. So hopefully I found out how I can reset it. And if I did, I will also do a consumption run for the 130 kilometers per hour range test. So then at least you have a, yeah, I would say an estimate, it's not an estimate, but then at least you have a number of what this car can do in kind of similar conditions that I drove in today. So sorry, maybe you see something cut in now, but I don't have it at the moment. So yeah, that was the result and that is also the end of the video. I hope you liked it and if you did well, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and well, it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued. Mm -hmm.